Well, good morning, and uh, God bless you. I am so glad that you have joined me here a day before Christmas Eve. And what do you think about my ugly Christmas sweater? Um, you know, we, we at our church, Christian Life Church of Belgium, uh, we've enjoyed in the past Christmas banquets that we typically do annually. And, and last year, we had a ugly Christmas sweater contest, or maybe it was just a Christmas sweater contest, and it was a lot of fun. So I just felt like today I would, uh, I would wear uh, one of my sweaters that I had on this December the 23rd. I want to share just a short devotion. I'm Pastor Steve Harris of Christian Life Church of Belgium. I want to invite you to join us tomorrow night, December the 24th at 7 o'clock, we're having a virtual Christmas Eve service. We've pre-recorded this. Uh, I had to travel out of town to be with my mother, and we pre-recorded a service, and I think you're going to be blessed by the message. It will be here tomorrow night at 7 p.m., and you're going to be blessed, church family, if you're able to join us. Uh, but I'm so glad you're here today, and I hope that you will also join us this Sunday. I have a very special message to share at 10.30 a.m. Sunday. It's the last Sunday of 2020, and God's given me a strong word, a very passionate message that I hope you will connect with us on Facebook Live. And then, of course, you can check us out on YouTube, Christian Life Church of Belgium. Well, again, sitting here in my living room, got the Christmas tree over here, and um, I'm excited about this time of year. I want to share this simple devotion, born this happy morning. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 3. The sun is the radiance of God's glory and the exact rep representation of his being. After he had provided purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty in heaven. You know, today, as we are preparing tomorrow to celebrate Christmas Eve and then the next day, Christmas Day, we celebrate God becoming a man, God entering the human family. This is the marvel of history. Jesus is both God and man. And God said, I and my Father are one. As a man, he said, my Father is greater than I. Because Jesus is God, John wrote in John chapter 1, he said, the Word was God. And because he was man, Jesus wrote, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. God became a man. That's the incarnation. And God, Jesus, the Bible said, he is King of kings and Lord of lords. But yet, as a man, he understood sorrow. The Bible said he was acquainted with grief. And as God, our Lord's going forth, as the Bible says, from of old, from everlasting, as a man, Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea. You see, the whole Bible is about Christmas because the whole Bible is about Jesus Christ. As God, he is pure and powerful enough to save us from sin and death. He is God in a body. His name is Jesus. But because of his humanity... He was able to provide purification for sins, gaining our salvation, being the Lamb of God that felt the pain of death and gave up the ghost, as the Bible says, and surrendered his life. And he resurrected on that third day. And the Bible said now he is in a position of power, providing his spirit to fill us. Oh, come, as the song says, let us adore him. Him. I wish you and your family a very Merry Christmas this season. And remember what this season is all about. It's the reason that we celebrate Christmas. It's about Christ. Make sure Christ is in your Christmas this season. Don't forget, read to your family Luke chapter 2 and the account of the birth of our Savior Jesus Christ. One last time as I sit here in my Christmas sweater, I want to invite you to join us tomorrow night, Christmas Eve. At 7 o'clock, I'm going to share a very special message that I have recorded, uh, and I'm going to share with you, uh, and I believe that God will bring some strength to you through it. May the Lord bless you richly. Thank you for being with us. 
I look forward to what God's going to do in the brand new year. God bless you is our prayer.